All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a uh, ReZero content covering Subaru and Emilia's date at the casino after Memory of Snow. Apparently, this is the best version that we can find, right? And I'm giving you a warning. The quality of this video, it is not good. Someone is recording it using Subaru's fucking Nokia flip phone. So, hey, bear with me. Let's see how their date went. <laughs> Like, like, why is there a casino thing happening right now? What is happening? Exclusive scene for casinos. Like, basically, this scene can only be seen if you went to a casino for this featured event. Therefore, there's Gamba on the screen while you see the fucking date scene. <laughs> this is fucked up. All right. Dato. That's right. Is he leading her to the flower bed, right? Because we wanted to take her to a big bed of flowers and surprise her for the date. All right. What is it? Wow, Kire! Beautiful! Utsukushi! Flowers! It looks good! She's actually happy! That's right, right? The black the bed of flowers was like a secret base for the kids and they basically clutched for us. Hmm. <laughs> Pay attention to the wording. You really are a good boy, Subaru. Because even in the movie, what did Amelia think Subaru was? Like 12 years old? Rounded up to 13 because she felt embarrassed on his behalf. <laughs> so right now, imagine this. Amelia is the mom and Subaru is just like a village kid. And it's like, eh, Amelia, mommy, mommy, I want to check you out to a new cool place. Shows the flowers. Wow, you're such a good boy. <laughs> That's pretty much the extent of what's happening in this date, man. Yes, you are misplaced. Present? Oh, shit. What do you got? Wow, flower crown. That's so nice. He made this? This is like us, uh... Giving Amelia the ascension to the throne right now of Dragon Kingdom Lugunica, bro, with the flower crown. <laughs> Alright. Did he really? Did he actually make this flower crown by himself? Or did the kids make it? I think a worth of a man is tied to the amount of monetary value you placed on the gift. A present, a gift at the end of the day, it's all about the meaning behind it, right? The feelings involved. Now, it doesn't mean that you should just go give yourself a girlfriend a fucking onion ring when you propose to her because you feel love to her. No, 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 I'm not. That's what I'm saying. But hey, I don't think this is anything wrong. You found your goal, yeah? <laughs> so 
Subaru indirectly talking about how he realized his new goal and he wants to be closer to Amelia and wants to love her and be have Amelia as his girlfriend, his love of his life. And she's like, huh? You kind of cringe. I don't know what you're saying. Thank you for the flowers, though. <laughs> It's just more pathetic and sad and embarrassing the more I think about it. Like, like, I don't, like, it looks good, right? She's smiling. He's smiling. Everything is fine. But like, <laughs> it's just, there is no love here. It's not romantic intent. She thinks that he's a kid and she brought him out to a flower bed and wow, this is nice. Wow, flower crowns, that's so kind of you. But uh, okay, that's, that's about it. Dato. Okay. Another Dato. Okay, what? EM, I stop it. You, these acronyms are getting out of hand. EMT was enough, all right? Emilia Tan is my angel. T actually stands for angel in English, okay? EMI? We had Emilia Tan is my favorite. We had EMF before, like enough. Enough imp? No. Naughty dog. <laughs> you get shit on in the YouTube comments because you say Subaru and Million interactions are cringe as fuck, but they are cringe, right? Because again, this is a one-sided love where Subaru is chasing after this girl, but this girl does not even see him as a man. He is a literal fucking child, a 12-year-old that got rounded up to 13-year-old out of pity. And even though she accepted his date, this is not a romantic intent. Subaru wants the romantic intent. He wants to be loved by Amelia. He wants to be with her. But I don't think Amelia really sees him as a man. Right now in the story where we're at in episode 11, I stand by that shit. A lot of people also seems to have this misunderstanding of what I'm saying of like, what do you mean? You know, they're getting on so well. No, I don't think they are. If you genuinely think Subaru is like more like romantically engaged with Emilian now in episode 11 compared to episode 1, I think you're wrong. I think that episode 1 was like the perfect fucking run in terms of like getting Emilia's affection. After that, I think that it's, it's just been botched. And now we're just a stranger that we showed up and we saved her in the cellar. And yes, we handled the mansion shit. And there's this, like, this is a great date episode, right? Like we had, we went on a date and everything is fine. But I just don't think that there's any sort of romantic interest coming from Emilia to Subaru. I think that the date, Emilia has no understanding, right? She thinks that it's, it's platonic at best. It's just, you know, two friends hanging out maybe. But Subaru, I think that he is very aware of what a fucking date means. Some people are literally saying, bro, Subaru doesn't mean a date as in love. Shut the fuck up, retard. He explicitly states multiple times when kids say, Subaru, Subaru, what's a date? And Subaru's like, oh, it's when two adults who are love in, in, in love with each other does something and only the goddess of love can know. It's like, what the fuck? Do you actually not think that Subaru is going in with this date with nothing? You really think that he's going in there thinking, oh, this is just a platonic hangout session. There is nothing beyond that. No, I think you're delusional as much as Subaru is delusional in this relationship. There is no romantic interest and poor Rem, bro. Poor Rem chasing after this guy now. Show him all the affection. She is so ready. And he is the Amelia in that situation. Everything is so one-sided. Rem chases after Subaru. Subaru chases after Emilia, and Emilia? I don't know what the fuck she's chasing. Maybe she's chasing the crown, man.